Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to talk about Mesh Central's user management and administrative realms. Mesh Central is really great at managing computers, but as you create a website and uh, I grant access to these computers to many other users, you also have to start managing users. And so there's a whole bunch of features in Mesh Central to do that. So uh, obviously if you're uh, running a website and you're the only user for me your own Mesh Central website, this will not apply to you. But if you have a bunch of users, this will be super important. So let's take a quick look at um, First of all, my Mesh Central developer server right here. This is the uh, you know server that I use for everything. I'm going to log in as administrator um, on this Mesh Central instance. And so I have a bunch of computers here. Of course, I can click on them and manage them and so on. I am administrator. I'm also full site administrator. So I have um, the my server tab here. I can manage my users and so on. But these two tabs here are super important for user management and server management. So I have all rights. OK. And then when I have all the management rights, I can see all my users. I can create new user accounts right here, type in a username and password and add it. And then they, these users can log in. I can also look at uh, user groups. And right now I have one user group. I can create more user groups here. And then once you create a user group, you can add more users. You can add devices to that group and permissions. And so then what you, happens is that through these user groups, uh, users get permissions to access and manage devices. Okay, so that's simple enough. I, I think this is fairly clear. Um, when you uh, select a user, and we're going to focus on Bob here, you by default, users just have the user rights on the server, but you can click on that and give them additional rights. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is this is a Firefox browser. I'm going to bring in a Chrome browser right here. And I am going to log in as Bob. So username Bob, password Bob, very simple. And so Bob just logged in. And you can see online users, Bob is right there. And by the way, just for giggles, I can click a chat here. And to Bob, Bob can say OK. And we can chat if we want to. There he goes, enter and enter. That's good. So we can chat between users if you guys don't know that. You can also do the little notify, say hello, and Bob will see the hello message here. Uh, by the way, you can do broadcast, hello, all, and then when you click OK, it will, um, it will show the message. You can say dismiss after 10 seconds. So you say OK. And then every, mess, every user that's currently logged in on your server will see that message, and it will be dismissed after, or after 10 seconds. But I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to, there it goes. It's actually dismissed. OK, so Bob is logged in here. And he has no um, uh, user tab or my server tab because he's just a normal user. He can create uh, user groups and manage computers, but he can't manage other users and he can't manage the server. Now, <clears throat> as administrator on the right, I can see Bob is currently online. I can click on him and I can say um, I want to change the server rights and I can put him as full administrator. Click OK. Boom, instantly you see all the extra boxes here. He now gets to see all the users and manage them. He gets to see the, the server uh, panel and so on. So that's great, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to remove full administrator from Bob and the panels got removed here. Now what I want to do is just grant Bob um, rights to manage other users. So the way I would do that is I would click here and say manage users. OK, and then you would see the box here. Uh, Bob suddenly gets the right to manage a bunch of users. And so it, Bob can see all the users, can create new accounts right there. can also click on a user and delete the user or change the password and so on. So now Bob has no rights to uh, manage the 
server, but can manage uh, users. Now, you also see that their user groups are here, and, you, and Bob can see the user groups, but uh, Bob does not have access to, ma to manage user group, like changing the membership. It can, so it can add his own devices here, but it can't change the membership of these uh, user groups, who, who's part of what group. It can't create new groups and so on. Well, in server rights, Bob can also be manage user groups. You can click on that, and suddenly Bob has extra buttons. So it can create a new user group right there, duplicate an existing group, or you can um, actually for duplicate, you, you select your source group here, your uh, new group and a description, and I will duplicate it with all the users and devices. So that's really nice. Or you can even say group action and delete group if you want to delete. So now Bob has not only access to view uh, the uh, user groups, but also manage them. So, okay, that's great. Now, um, what if I want Bob to manage a subset of users? So maybe I have a, Bob is a lead of a team that has, uh, you know, a few users in them. And I want Bob to be able to manage just that subset of users. Now, one option is to create a new uh, mesh central domain, like a, you know, a completely different DNS or a new URI, and then have Bob kind of manage his users inside a completely different domain of mesh central. So that's uh, one possibility, but we don't want to do that. What we want to do is stick to our current domain, but just grant Bob uh, view uh, management rights over a, a subset of users. So there's something called the administrator realm here, admin realm. So what you're going to do is see, uh, I'm going to start by, you know, obviously granting Bob, uh, you know, user management rights. So now Bob can manage all users, but then I'm going to go inside Bob and put an admin realm. And by default, there's no admin realm set for any of the users. But as soon as you put a realm, it adds a restriction to that user's uh, ability to manage uh, other users. The realm will only will make it so that Bob can only manage other users of the same realm. So, for example, let's suppose I have a group called Working From Home. Okay, I have that group here. I'm going to open Notepad, paste that there, just because I am going to use I'm going to be using this some more. So, Working From Home. So I click OK, and as soon as I set that for Bob's account, you notice that now Bob can only see himself. Uh, he can only manage or, or see online users uh, for this uh, realm. And right now, there's only one user with that realm, which is Bob itself. So he can only see himself. Now, what I can do is I can go back here to uh, my users, and I'll go to Joe. And I'm going to put Joe in the same realm, a main realm, working from home. Boom, OK. Now. Bob suddenly can also see Joe, and you can see what Joe's done. Uh, for example, previous logins, Joe hasn't logged in in a long time, but uh, you know, Joe, Joe can set up, um, Bob can set up various permissions on different users. For example, here you have a, a restricted set of permissions. Obviously, Bob is not administrator of the entire server, so he can't grant that right to anyone. But uh, for example, Bob could lock an account. Like if you wanted to, uh, Bob can now lock Joe out. So you can see there's a little padlock and the account is locked. And then I can unlock Joe, Joe and, and done. So now Bob has administrator right over Joe, but nobody else. And another thing that's interesting is that if Bob creates a new account, so I'm going to create a new account, let's say um, Ariel. Oops, sorry. There you go. Ariel at Ariel.com, let's just say password Ariel, click OK, boom. So now I have a new, you know, Bob created a new account for a friend of his or something. And when you, when you look at this, uh, Ariel automatically has the realm from Bob. So when Bob creates an account, uh, the, the realm of the new account ma will match the one of the creator, so, so in this case, Bob. So Bob can create lots of different accounts here and continue managing them and so on. So if he needs to reset passwords, delete, lock, and you know, all this stuff. But obviously, 
still cannot manage all the other accounts on the server. So that uh, is pretty much it. This is, you know, super useful because it's a way to, uh, in a very light way, uh, obviously make users administrators of, over just some of the other users on your Mesh Central server. Hopefully that was useful, not a, a um, not something that's often known or discussed, but I think uh, if you're an expert user on Mesh Central, uh, it's really worth the time to look at uh, admin realms. Thank you.